blessed. He, he, he don't call himself as a man, but he's, he got like wisdom of a man. He be a man to me. <laughs> so we're thankful that we have people like Brother Norman here with us. Man, we on this side. Uh, we, the Midwest Dollar King, and I'll say this again, we support Wallace Muhammad II, my kid, W.D. Muhammad Ministry. One thing you got to do is just be cool and listen. And sit down with somebody that got some sense. I'm talking about don't sit down and let me space the gaps. The man told us, he said, look at don't, don't, don't. If you want to get caught, you don't go to anybody for good information. If you want to learn how to fight, you go to Muhammad Ali. You want to really learn this thing, set out any man behind it, you learn it. Because yes. once you drink from the bottles and old waters, then you don't thirst no more. This is just real. So you all should feel good today. And, and come on, get, get in on, laugh it up. Come alive. Allah is with us. We're going to be successful. We continue to support this work, this ministry, the mosque kid. And the man said when he gave the name Miles Kid, he was speaking to the world. All the monsters should care. The Miles Kids. Yes, that's the message for all of them. That's what the man told us. And I'm just telling you, just sharing it with you. We done sat under and believe me, brothers and sisters, we have been well taught here. You ain't dealing with no wimps. Dealing with me. And the man Muhammad, but he's put it in us. I mean, he, he whipped some of us sometimes. But boy, he, he shaped us up. We're ready now to do this work. Carry out the work of, uh, uh, we make the world. That's what our leader left with us. We let the inheritance of that. And we don't plan on backing up. You know, and, and like I said, I was blessed to walk on Arafat with him. I was with him on Arafat. You know what he told him over there on the tent? I'm going to finish up after this. I just want to drop something on him. The imam who was, on, who was in a big tent with the ulema, and this man was speaking, one of, the, one of the great scholars over there. He said, the prophet said that any member of the Nile's family is a member of the prophet's family. And he said, you are the grandchildren of the Nile. Therefore, you are members of the prophet's family. So that's us, brothers. We're, we're the ones that call into the faith now. We are the new heirs of this land, and we can hold a light high. And we have been taught well by our beloved leader, Imam Wabi Muhammad. The Spirit is live with us. Only thing you got to do is just, just, just live the religion. You got to practice the religion. Live it. And just like Imam Ethan said about the Quran, if you, if you look for stuff and you sincere and you read that Quran every day, it means that which should be read. It means that which should be read. If you read that in one day and you hit that prayer rug and you start praying, you're going to see a change in your life. And, get, and, and follow the top of the man Muhammad. You know, and, and, you, and you, you'll be straight. So, thank Allah uh, uh, for having these few minutes. Uh, thank Allah that He blessed us with uh, uh, the president of my kids, Wallace Muhammad II. And, and I said, I love him. And, and every, everybody, most people I be with love him. And I mean, I don't see him every day, but I talk about him all the time. I said, I'm awake. Oh, Allahu Akbar. Thank you. Thank Imam Lau for his announcement. Uh, we are, uh, now we have uh, Sister uh, Wayne Gara from the Muslim Journal, and then uh, we'll, we'll prepare to close out. Uh, she has an announcement we're bringing before, and uh, when she comes before, she got a spirit too. So. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. As salamu wa Brother Imam Rushdan explained to us that, of course, we know what it means, but he really gave us some insight on it. And it is what unites us. What I want to talk to you about is, of course, the Muslim Journal. And it's, it's fitting the day that I'm speaking to you. Sister Aisha's out of, out, of, uh, out of town. So on behalf of our editor, Sister Aisha, and the staff, I'd like to extend a greeting to you from, from her and them. And it's only fitting, I think, to have this uh, journal 
with Malcolm on it. Malcolm is the one that said, that started the Muhammad Speaks newspaper. So this history of recording our own information is reinforced each day that you read things that other people have to say about us. Not only us as Muslims, but us as African Americans. You won't read positive things about us, but there is very positive and informative information in this paper. It chronicles our history. Everything that the brothers were speaking, some of those things that uh, Imam Rishdan read, uh, was discussing was in the Muslim Journal on the Imam's page. And then if you can go back through your papers, you can find it. Or get the tapes that Wallace is providing for us from the WDM ministry. One thing I wanted to say to you is the subscription cost for Muslim Journal has increased as of May 1st. However, for those of you who are in attendance today that would like to subscribe or renew your subscription, you can renew it at the old price, which would save you on a six-month subscription $3, on a one-year subscription $5, and on a two-year subscription $32, because effective May 1st, with the exception of you who want to renew today, you will, if the price goes up to set, uh, 43 for six months, 70 for one year, and 135 for two years. So I wanted to let you know, for those of you that were here, you have an opportunity to, re opportunity to renew at the old price. So that's all I wanted to say. I'm back at the table. Come see me, renew your subscription, purchase a Muslim journal, continue to support the mosque here, and I would like to thank Brother Wallace and the mosque here for the opportunity to come before you. Thank you. As-salamu alaykum. Walk right along with good time. Uh, good time with uh, right on time. Sister Lynn, she got one more uh, quick announcement uh, uh, in regards to the book that uh, she uh, helped produce. Uh, actually, she did most of the work, but Wallace and his wife they uh, they oversaw it. So. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum again. Actually, the original idea came from Brother Wallace. We were talking about uh, something related to um, continuing the legacy of Imam Walter Dean Muhammad, and he said it'd be really nice if we had a school book that would allow the children to learn about the history and learn educational skills at the same time. And so he kept telling me what his vision was, and I stood back, put some thoughts, you know, together. And I said, what about, and between him, Sister Robin, we came up with the idea of putting together this particular workbook. Now, there are some efforts being done across the United States to chronicle our history. Number one, Sister Latifa mentioned the Muslim Journal is an excellent source of information on our history over time. And they actually, and she didn't mention this, but they're actually offering a package where you can actually have your Muslim journals bound. So you have a permanent car cover record of the history of our, of our, our community as Muslims as well as of African Americans. So that is available for you. And I remember as a child growing up in the Nation of Islam, I actually loved it when my father would bring home those